Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Between Pink and Black. Now, this was the puzzle I referenced yesterday where I said if I had breathed through the puzzle, which I didn't, and seems by the times that you guys have posted, you have, this was essentially the backup puzzle that I was going to jump into. Now, Between Pink and Black, I don't know about you, but immediately Pink Panther comes to mind. And uh, kind of uh, in the background, of course, Henry Mancini's Pink Panther music just going da dum da dum. But um, I kind of thought maybe I'll stay away from potentially copyrighted material and just go for what you see in here in this theme where Sleuth is almost like there's a light and dark version of him, a pink version, happy, and a dark version, evil and I don't know, sinister by the looks of things. Now, just a quick reminder, this was a 5 out of 10 rating, um, according to James Sinclair. I will see how we get on. Maybe this is sort of approaching a 2-star difficulty rating on Logic Masters Germany, which might make it more of a weekend puzzle. If I find that is the case, I'll play a different puzzle for Wednesday morning and essentially bump this to the weekend. But just looking at this design of this, it looks approachable looks approachable so obviously looks can be very deceiving but i'm really looking forward to giving this a go and uh, rather than you taking my word for it let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets with between pink and black by rome planner and the following set of rules i mean you can see clearly the pink and the black normal sudoku rules apply place the digits one to nine once each in every row every column and every three by three box nothing unusual there and we have two variant rules the pink Remban lines must contain a sequence of consecutive digits in any order. So if this cell is a 2, for example, either this is 1, 2, 3, or this is 2, 3, 4. What I clearly cannot do is have something like 2, 3, 5. They're no longer a consecutive set, and obviously you cannot repeat a digit on a Remban. Admittedly, all the Remban lines are always in the same box, row, column, etc. So no repeats is fairly obvious as well. Then we have digits in cells connected by a black dot have a 2 to 1 ratio. If this cell here was a 2, this would have to be 1 or 4, so that one cell is double the other across this black dot. Not all dots are necessarily given, so you don't have to worry about negative constraints. 2 and a 4 in here, clearly in a 2 to 1 ratio, no black dot, not a problem. It's purely about the given black Kropke dots, Sudoku and Remban. So, fairly straightforward set of rules from Rome Planner. As always, if you want to give this one a go, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Now, I imagine most of you have already noticed a whole bunch of things. First off, there's a lot of boxes. Box 1, box 5, and box 9, where three Remban lines are given. Now, the nature of three Remban lines in a single box, where you have to place the digits 1 to 9 once each, one of the Remban lines has to be 1, 2, 3, one of them has to be 4, 5, 6, one of them has to be 7, 8, 9. And that would be true for box 1, 5, and 9. Now, I don't know which one is which, but we just know that they're going to be forced into this. Any other setup will obviously not allow me to complete one of the Remban lines, if not both. There is obviously all of the black Kropke dots we can uh, have a look at, such as this cell here. This has to be 1, 2, 4. Reminder of the black Kropke dot sets, 1, 2, 4, 8, 3, and 6. If you've got three cells or more that are clearly uh, without any repeats, you cannot use 3, 6. You have to use from 1, 2, 4, 8. Any three cells would always include either a 2 in the middle or a 4 in the middle. So we can go ahead and do that for a couple of spaces. Now, notice box, uh, whatever this is, four, I've included one, you know, I've got one, two, two, four, and four, eight. What I don't have is five, seven, nine. They can never be on a black Kropke dot. Half of five is two and a half. Double of five is 10. So these are restricted to five, seven, and nine. I can also see that the, no, I can get away with it. No, no, I can't. This is three, six. So uh, again, one, two, four, and eight. If you pick any three, you will always include the digits 2 and 4, regardless of which one you pick. 2, 4, 8, that's 2, 4. 1, 2, 4, that's 2, 4. 
So this can't be 2, 4, which means it can't be a 1, 2 pair, can't be a 4, 8 pair. This can only be 3, 6. Now, that immediately tells me this is the 7, 8, 9 Remban because it's not 1, 2, 3. I've already got it in the pencil mark. And it's not the 4, 5, 6. I've already got it in the pencil mark. So that's 7, 8, 9. That can't be 7 or 9. That's our first digit. That's a 5. The fact that I have an 8 up here tells me that I don't have an 8 down there. So the middle digit has to be the 2, and this is 1, 4 around it. There we go. This is not the 1, 2, 3 Remban run. We don't know what it is just yet, but not to worry. These are not 5s. Uh, I know that these are 3, 6. Again, this is 1, 2, 4, 8 are gone. So even if I'm, um, yeah, even I make, you know, make this 1, 2, I have to make this 2, 4, 8. So this has to be 3, 6. Uh, I'm not going to pencil mark these. Okay, I guess this is where it will get a little bit difficult in terms of where to go next. There was like a few fairly obvious places to start, but after that, it is a bit tougher. So a Remban run that has all three cells are different and all three cells are black crop key dot digits. So one, two, three, four, six, and eight. I know this doesn't include six and eight because five is not between them. Seven is not between them. So I need three of one, two, three, four, including definitely the two and three. It's either one, two, three, or it's two, three, four. That's all the possible options that I have in here. Um, what does that mean? I've got another contiguous set. I know that these are all going to be from different cells, but I can make them fairly close, if you get my drift. I can make this, like let's say, a seven. I can make this one a six. And I guess I would have to include one from the low digits. So one of these is one, two, three. And it can't be the two, three, because they're in here. So essentially, one of these cells is a one with a two, three above it. And therefore, it is not a one, it is two, three, four. And it also means for the four, five, six run, I have essentially one with a five, six. Now, to fit in three cells, three contiguous cells in here, consecutive digits, I can't use five because the six is not available. And if I can't use five, I have to use six, seven, eight, because this cell has to be outside of that consecutive run. So that's a nine. This is a seven, eight pair. This is a one, five pair. Hopefully that's kind of intuitive for all of you. Um, not as exciting. The four could easily have an eight. The three could easily have a six and the two could easily have one or four. So I'm not able to actually even limit what this one is or what's going on in here. Huh. One can't be in here because the two's gone, which is not enough. I mean, one could be any of these. Yep. Six, seven, and eight. So this is not three, six. This has to be one, two, four to be connected on the black crop dot. Now, because, no, that's not true. Um, I can't have a 9 on the Remban because 6, 7, and 8 are gone. So that has to be the 9. So the 3 has to be on the Remban, which means that the 4 is also there. It's 3, 4, 5, since the 2 is definitely gone. So 1 and 2, I mean, it's not very useful. But I mean, it means that the 2 is in one of these two cells, and then the 3 is in one of these two cells, because essentially it's 1, 2, 3, since the 2 is not allowed to be here. So what is this run? Since it doesn't include a three, I have essentially four, five, six, seven. I can't go further. If I include an eight, I will break this cell because eight would have to descend since the nine is not available. It would be eight, seven, six, and I've broken the seven, eight. So essentially I have to have five and six in here and then one of four and seven. Now, what does that mean to me? 
So the 456 run means that this is a 2 6 pair because the 6 can't be in these two cells and that this is a 3 4 pair because there's no other place for the 4 to go. So this is again forced and this has to be 5 6 7. Now from the black crop key dots available, 9 can only hide in here and then in there has to be 1 and 8. Now the 1 will be connected to a 2, can't be connected to a 3. The 8 is connected to a 4, can't be connected to anything else. So these are not 3, this is a 3, this is 6. That tells me that this is 7 and 8. 7 and 8, 5 and 6, 5 and 4. You know, testing you if you're paying attention. This is not 5 or 6, this is a 7. These are not 7s. This is of course an 8, that was resolved earlier. And uh, it's going fairly well. Um, I expected more of a challenge given the rating, but this 1, 2 tells me that this is not 1, 2, 4, it would break this cell. So this has to be 4 with 2 and 8 pairs, and therefore that's a 1, that's a 2. Uh, no 4 in here, no 8 in there. In fact, no 6 in there, no 3 in there. Look at me doing Sudoku halfway through, huh? Not leaving it until the very end. So remember, one of these is 1, 2, one of these is 4, 8. Now the 4, I know what it is, Sudoku says it's here. Can't be in these two. And therefore this is a 1, 2 pair, which gives me 5, 6, and 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lovely. It probably also tells me what this is. This is almost certainly 5, 6, 7. I can't have a 9 without the 8. That's a 9. That's a 7. I also know what these three cells are. They are 3, 5, and 9. Which one can go on a black? Oh, no, hang on, it's not 5. 8 and 9. Pardon me. I was about to place accidentally an 8, sorry, a 3 there. So if it's 3, it has to be 6. If it's 8, it has to be 4. Not resolvable just yet. Must be getting there though. Four, five, six. So we know that we don't have four, five, six. So essentially it's either one, two, three. If it is one, two, three, that would be four, eight. That would be six. That would be five. If it's seven, eight, nine, that would be one, two. And then I guess these two are still open. Yeah, not so obvious. So he said this is not. Actually, hang on, this could be useful. This is not one, two, three. It's either seven, eight, nine, or it's four, five, six. Now it can't be four, five, six because it eliminates this cell, all of the options. So this has to be seven, eight, nine, and therefore this cannot be eight, four. This is three, six. This is not the eight. This is not the nine. Uh, just Sudoku from the top. Not sure I can do much more just yet. Uh, but this is useful, I'm sure. This is not 7 or 6. That is a 5. And these two cells are known. They are 1, 4. That is not the 4. That's the 1. That's the 2. That's the 4. The 4 can't be 4, 5, 6. It's not available. And it can't be any lower than 2. So this has to be a 3, 5 pair. And the 4 will give me the 2, the 1, the 8, the 4. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. 4, thank you. 6 gives me 5 and 6. And the 8 tells me that this is the 7, 8, 9, and this is the 1, 2, 3. These cells are the 7 and 9, and this cell is just known. It is 8, not 3s, that's 9, that's 8. I think we're pretty much there now. But what a lovely, smooth puzzle. Although, of course, your mileage may vary. I mean, I've taken smooth puzzles and absolutely butchered them in the past, so I'm sure I can clean up a bit if I pay the attention. Not seven, not eight, not nine. Uh, the one, two, three are not resolved. The three, six, however, three, six pair tells me that's not a three. That's a one, two pair. That tells me that this is seven or nine, just to complete the row. And the nine, no, no. Interesting, okay. Am I missing anything else? No. Okay, we, we still need to place 1, 2, 3, which can only be in here, and we still need to place 4, 5, 6, which can only be in there, which gives me directions, and 3 and 5, 
excellent. This is not one or two, this is a three. This is not three or two from the top, that's one and two. Uh, this is not a four. This is not a six. Interesting. Maybe some more Sudoku to keep this easy for myself rather than uh, trying to force it from here. Such as, where does seven go? Well, there's still too many options. So I need a one, which can only be in here. Then I need another seven, nine, and an eight. Lovely. I say lovely because, you know, it's not necessarily giving me anything. Eight, nine pair tells me that's two, that's eight. So four, 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 four. Sorry. It's not seven, eight, nine. It's five, seven, nine. Pardon me. Not five or nine. That is seven. That's nine. That's five. And hopefully that will give me a bit more now. Seven gives me eight, gives me nine, gives me seven. Uh, technically, it's solvable from here, technically. Not seven or nine, so that's eight, that's seven, that's nine. This is not seven or eight, that's six, that's seven, that's eight. This is not five. Neither of these are five. In fact, that six also gives me the four, the five, the six, the three, the five. The four, and where am I looking now? One, two, th eight gives me two, which gives me one, gives me three, gives me two, one, two, eight, uh, six, three, six, three, and if I've not made any mistakes, six for the finish. So, beautiful puzzle, uh, Rome Planner, highly enjoyable. And I think if you're just familiar with Rembans and black Kropke dots, it's a pretty smooth solve. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video. Uh, given how I did solve it, I will post it for tomorrow morning. And see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.